Welcome aboard Google Cloud again. So right here is going to be very fast today. We are checking an old post. So for the reason we would like to resize this. So if you are in, in, in the pool here, there are no pools. Whatever you have, you may select the full pool, whatever. So let's click on storage. Observability, logs. And let's go back to details. Okay. If you don't find the node pool over here, it's a link. Okay. You can come in here directly on the menu, on a search, sorry, and check for the, the, the cluster for the node pool. So, well, what we want to do, if you go into details of this node pool, you can add it to this. Okay, the default pool, add it. There's gonna be YAML for that. We don't, we, we don't wanna do that, so let's go back to summary. It has changed a lot the interface. So let's see in the details. Okay, now pool one. Could get into also the default node pool. Here we go, there is a pool one. We can resize this guy. You have the number of nodes, you can call it three, for example, you're changing. So that's per zone. So you, since we have four zones, so we have 13, 12, sorry, 13, 12. So we can definitely resize it right now. It's an autopilot, so you cannot change, mutate the node pools, cancel. If, we, if there was a standard node pool, it could be done. So that's how you could resize it, but since it's an autopilot, it's not able to change. But we can even go back here. Let's check the other node pool. This is the cluster pool. This is the default node pool. Let's see if we can change this guy. Resizing details. It's not pool one, it's default node pool. Let's check on resize. Okay. Let's try to make this two or three. So we have a two by node, okay? So six. So it's autopilot, you cannot change. So another information, so autopilot cluster, you cannot change the node pool. It's, it, uh, it scales itself. So you, you don't need any change. So it's a more economic choice. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.